All right, guys, man, wait you see all the stuff we did in this house. I got so much to show you. This next series, these next 10, 10 11 videos on metal stud framing. Oh, my, 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 guys, I got so much to teach you. This house is amazing. Uh, just like a mansion, a steel stud mansion. And I'm going to walk you through everything we did in it. So stay tuned, guys. All right, first video, clips. Clips, man. Clips are something you know important okay like they're, they're they're we use them a lot all right um a lot of a lot of what we do is still stud uh, you can like uh, lock things in with drywall but when you don't have any drywall and things like like the uh, at, right at the start we gotta you gotta start using uh clips okay uh especially for like using top track okay for installing top track um it, it's it's just something it's so basic but i get asked a lot on how to secure the tra top track to certain things well you got to use clips so here i'm i'm marking them out and i'm going to cut them nice and um like they, they always see these are i think six inches wide these ones just because the trusses are i think six inches uh wide here so when i i make a clip i always I always cut it so that the see the tab it will fit in the and carry along the whole thing where there is a stud or a truss you'll see here in a second what i mean but do you see how i just cut the uh, sides the the front of the studs off and it leaves the uh, tab okay and then there that's what i mean so i try to get in as much as i can at least anyways right to um, give it as lot of, as much strength as possible but that's this is like a typical situation you'll run into in commercial construction this is q deck and a lot of times a wall will land inside the flute, right? The up part. And how do you screw your top track to that? You can't. So you just cut a stud and you fit it in. It's, it'd be like four, I think, two and a half inches in the middle there, right? And two inch, uh, two inch lips on either end. And that's how you get your top track on for a Q deck. But you see here we're going every two feet. Um, I like to get the uh, a, a clip where the tracks end, okay? But it's just, yeah, you, you just put them where the, where the walls land inside of, like, see, between the two trusses, right? You don't want to screw it, the top track to the roofing sheets, right? It has to be below the trusses, so that's how you do it. You, we use clips, and that's just cutting stud, all right? Now, I've, I, we eventually started using flat stock on this job. Okay, but this is another one here. So I cut this an inch and a half on either end to go on the front of the studs here for a wall going that stops like like into that wall. You know what I mean? An intersecting wall, just like that. And what I'll normally do is I'll put the clip right at the ceiling, like right at the ten foot, like ten foot half inch or whatever. Uh, so all the ten foot studs, I don't have to cut any. I'll just put them in. Okay, because this wall we're stacking, but say it's a free floating wall, it's the exact same thing. What you do, you'll just put the clip in at the top there. Uh, right at the ceiling height. So when the drywall floats in, then you lock this floater in. The only reason why I have screws in my floaters here is because it was extremely windy and I didn't want them to blow out. Okay, so that's why I screwed my floaters in. But I left enough space so the drywall will just slip in and you can still screw it. Um, so yeah, and then this wall here, we have to go all the way up here, but we only had 10 foot studs. So we went 10 foot and now I'm going to stack another wall on top. Uh, but you, I'm going to show you the various ways that I use clips. And what do you see guys? I got so many videos coming out. I'm going to show you how I framed all the walls in here. Um, it, like just learning how to, how to frame sloped like this. You can do all kinds of things like X braces and exterior. There's the flat stock. You just, you just saw the flat stock. Um, but yeah, you uh, see how many clips I use? I use two for the upper part and one for the bottom part here. Uh, I just one up there. I might have used two because I, I needed some extra strength maybe or something over there. But uh, you can just see, yeah, see so you plumb it up. One, two, I added more clips on this one, right? It, it, it's good to have if you... Um, uh, to, to give your wall super, like a lot of strength, right? You like normally the drywall will slip in behind and then you lock in the floater. But yeah, and then, okay, braces are very important. I got more videos coming on how I brace everything, guys. The drywall in this situation is just gonna go straight up and all that will be hidden. It's gonna look so wild at the end. Um, but flat stock, you can see that flat stock is the best for braces, obviously, right? Because then you don't have to uh, cut the, the towel, the tabs, you know? It's just flat, it's beautiful, right? But make sure you guys get subscribed to the channel and stay tuned because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do these uh, sloped walls on the next video. Bye for now, guys.